Squarespace shipping tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this a new video. Today I am going to show you how you can set up a shipping profile within Squarespace. It is very easy and very simple. All you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to go to squarespace.com then you have to sign in for an account. Within that account you are going simply to set up right here. This is my account. Click on account dashboard. Here a little disclaimer guys. Everything created in this video such as email addresses, phone numbers are created for the sake of the video. They are not used for any personal uses. Here we have the website that we have created. If we didn't create a website yet, it is very easy. Click simply on create website and you will see the templates. Now I am going to select my website and then it will show up the website editor or the website builder. Here we have the website and the first thing that you need to do is to go ahead to the section which is settings. Under settings, we are going to see right here the shipping format or the shipping options. You go here first to selling, then we are going to seek for shipping. Click on shipping and here we have the shipping options. You can go ahead and add a shipping option or import from Etsy if you have an account on it or a store in Etsy or you can also set up a pickup option. And here we have also the setup of the local delivery option. You can here set up a fulfillment profile. Now let's say here that we are going to set up some fulfillment profiles. Click on it and here it will show up the fulfillment here. To set up the fulfillment profile, you need first to set up a shipping or a pickup. Let's go ahead and set up some shipping. Click on it. And here we have the shipping options. Let's start and edit or set our shipping option. Now we have the choice. Either you go with flat rate, depending on weight, carrier calculated with FedEx, carrier calculated with UPS or USPS. Choose one and simply we are going to configure it. For my case, I will go with the flat rate. Click right here, name that option. For example, let's name it here uh, by Smith or Smith like that. Assisted shipping. And here we have it. Now, we have the per order fee and per item fee. You can go ahead and put a base fee for every order placed. Let's say here that we are going to add $10. And for per item, we are going to set it as, for example, this is for the additional fee for each physical product in the, in the order. Let's say I'm going to add a $10 also. Here we have the formula. Now let's go to the shipping zones. Go ahead right here and add countries to your shipping zone. I'm going to search for, for example, New York. Here we are going to see what do we have? New Zealand, I'm going to use the US or United like that. United States, click on it. And here we have it. Also, I'm going to put Europe. Europe, I will see here Germany. Germany, here we have it, and you can add the countries manually. Now, when you finish all of these, you can edit, for example, the United States, you can add the states and the territories that you are going to put the shipping for. Click save, and here we have the shipping option. Go back to the fulfillment profiles, go ahead right here, and it will show up the custom profile. Click on add custom profile and here we have it. This is the fulfillment option. You have to check it, put a name for it, for example, Smith for shipping, shipping like that, one or zero. Here we have it and simply click on save. Done and here we have it. Now it will take you to the product section. You have to check up the box of the product that you want to set that shipping option to it and also the fulfillment. 
So check that box and select that product. Click on the three dots, edit, and it will show up the physical product editor. We have the product name, description, images, inventory right here for the price, the stock, etc. We have the fulfillment. Now, on the profile, we have allow buyers to select how they would like to receive this product. For example, local pickup or ground shipping. We have here the default and we have the shipping zero that we have set. You can go ahead and set up fulfillment profiles right here. It will take you to the previous page that we had. But here we will get everything from the profiles that we have set before. For the shipping or advanced uh, shipping, here we have the options to specify the length, width, height, and weight. You can go ahead and set these up and simply click on apply. Now, let's go ahead right here to the settings, then selling, and also shipping again. This was for the shipping. Here we have the pickup. You can set up a pickup option right here. You can add a pickup option. You have to name it. And also you have to make a description for it. For example, here we have the, uh, the address, the date, and also days of working. And here we have some notes. Please bring your ID when you pick up your order. We have here some optional information. For example, you can add taxation address and tax setup or tax setup. Now, let's go ahead right here to the shipping again, and we have the setup local delivery. You can add a delivery, you can here choose the country, the delivery information, the delivery rate, it is optional, and also the delivery information. Put the date, the time, and also some notes. To make sure that everything works to the shipping information and etc. All you have to do is to go ahead and add the products. How you can add a product it is very simple. Go back to your website, click on sellings, and here it will appear the products right there. Go ahead and set or add the products. You can add a physical product, service, a digital download, or a member site, and a lot of options. Go ahead and set this up. Finally, when you finish that, you are going to add a payment method. We have Stripe, PayPal, Square, and here we have the store currency. You have to make sure that everything is set up to make everything work well. From the shipping to the payment and also the products. So that was all for today's video. I hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.